June 24, 2015, a day Eric Yankee won't soon forget. The Turner Ashby product was living his childhood dream, pitching for JMU and the hometown Turks. But as Andrew Clay tells us, that day, Eric's opponent was not a batter, but the road to recovery. Yeah, well, one, where's your emergency? Of, uh, people an accident here on Huffington Road. I was coming around a turn, and uh, I kind of got in loose gravel. It just took my truck and spun it in a 360 angle, and it ended up my side into a tree. I was just stuck there waiting for someone to get me out. The five minutes was the longest time of my life. It was 525 on a Wednesday morning. Eric Yankee was on his way to work ahead of Harrisonburg's road trip to Aldi that night. But pitching suddenly wasn't on the forefront of his mind. When it happened, uh, I saw my hand and I just thought oh, automatically, like, I'll probably never be able to throw again. My biggest fear was just getting back to normal and being able to do everyday things like everyone else. They called me up and told me one night after he had had the accident, and I tell you what, my wife and I, we said a prayer right then and there. Eric broke his neck, left leg, and foot. He broke three fingers on his left hand, his pitching hand. His pinky was nearly severed off. It was one of the first questions I asked the uh, neck surgeon and the hand surgeon if I'd ever play again. And they said there was a slight chance, and it ended up being a slight chance that worked out. Eric spent months rehabbing, learning how to pitch again. And when James Madison's opening day rolled back around, he didn't miss a beat, reclaiming a spot right here in the bullpen. My pinky still doesn't bend, and uh, my other two fingers still hurt. Eight months after the crash, Eric was back with JMU, not missing a single Dukes game. Head coach Marlon Eikenberg calls him a tireless kid who worked hard to return. He made me go real slow coming back. Uh, he made sure everything was fine. I'm so happy he was here. I, I knew he would fight and get himself back, but I'm amazed that he's back the next year, to be honest with you. Eric made 13 appearances for the Dukes this spring and a strong return to baseball. I never thought I'd get back to this point, and it feels like it didn't even happen now. Yeah, I, I know someone was watching over me during the whole thing, and uh, I do feel very lucky to be back out here and doing the things I was before. Andrew Clay reporting there, overcoming the odds, that's for sure. After the injury to his hand, one of the biggest adjustments he told us was trying to learn to throw that change of pitch without that pinky, a finger he still has little use of right now. What but an incredible uh, story. Yeah, yeah, crazy. I remember reporting on that accident. So sad, but so great to see him mm -hmm. recover.